Good day and thank you for listening. My statement today concerns the personal attacks and false accusations made against comments I posted on my personal Twitter account. First, I humbly bow to the indigenous land defenders, those who I live amongst for decades. Our struggle is one and the freedom of Palestinians will not be complete until every indigenous nation is liberated and sovereign on its lands. I just came back from the liberated territories of Lebanon where the French, Americans, and the Zionists were routed out in humiliating defeats. Our people send their greatest admiration to the indigenous land defenders and have hopes of nation-to-nation relations and trade. I would like to address my Palestinian, Arab, and Muslim communities living in the colony of Canada. Do not be afraid. The end of the Zionist colony is nigh, and all the Zionist propagandists that haunt your life and and police your speech will be out of jobs very soon. My communities, I'd like to remind you that you are living on lands usurped from the great indigenous nations and all the privileges you receive from electricity to healthcare are only possible with the continued looting of indigenous resources in the colony of Canada and abroad. May I remind you that your homelands are living wars orchestrated and supported by the colony of Canada. Rise up, and stand for justice. You would be delusional if you think a colonial state perpetuating genocide on its indigenous inhabitants will give you any form of equality. You will not be free until the indigenous nations are free. To followers of the Jewish faith in this colony, the faith of Prophet Moses of Egypt, it is time for you to stand up and take down those who desecrate Judaism and pervert it with Zionism a cult of genocide and colonization. My communities, we, we do not need you to stand in our support only. We need you to take down those Zionists who appointed themselves as your leaders. To all media workers, academics, students, and activists in this colony who work against racism, have no fear. The Zionists are shaking in their boots, scared of the achievements, courage, and selflessness you exhibited in the past years as you stood against their bullying and intimidation. They want to make an example of me, a lightning rod by launching a smear campaign against me and falsely accusing me of racism and hate speech. The battleground set by the Zionists today is about the limits of so-called fundamental freedoms within the colonial setting of Canada, meaning what is acceptable within the public space Can a Zionist be comfortable spewing their hate and supremacy against Palestinians, Arabs, and Muslims on air? Can a Palestinian or Arab or Muslim or indigenous person express their disgust with those who condone, aid, and commit genocide against their people on Twitter? They want us to be civilized while they are genociding our peoples live on air. Today, the Zionist lobby wants to have the prime minister of this colony police the tone of my speech on a social media platform, one that is wholly owned by the Saud family and their Zionist bedfellows. Across Canadian mainstream media, I was condemned by Prime Minister Trudeau. He smeared me and falsely claimed my tweets are hate speech, xenophobic, and anti-Jewish. He called me vile. The accusations made by the Zionist lobby repeated by politicians in Canada and parroted by the media mark a bigger struggle, one that is fought about the right to be disgusted by genocide and supremacy and their perpetrators and propagandists. The right to offend our oppressors is the essence of freedom of thought, belief, opinion, and expression. Let me be very very clear. When I speak in English about the struggles of my people, I do not speak for myself. I take my cues from the people of Palestine. I amplify their voices and opinions. When I speak in English, the language of my colonizers, I expose expose their hypocrisy. I speak English, but I will never speak white. My opinions align with the opinions of the vast majority of Palestinian, Arab, and Muslim communities around the world and in the colony of Canada who long for the liberation of Palestine and an end to the silencing of their voices. 
Our communities deserve political and media representation that is not filtered, censored, and approved by the Zionist lobby before it sees any light. Prime Minister Trudeau's false accusations against me fall under hate propaganda in the Criminal Code of Canada. It is a charge worth two years of jail time. There is even a section there for anti-Jewish speech misnamed as anti-Semitism. Yet the Zionist lobby has no intention to take this to court. For if they lose this battle, they will never again be able to use the colonial media to defame, libel, misrepresent, and ostracize anyone who defends Palestinian liberation. The only power they hold above us is the power to conduct an unjust media trial, a witch hunt, where the Zionist lobby and their supporters are the judge, jury, and executioner. As for Zionists in the Parliament of the Colony of Canada, if they call a parliamentary committee to investigate my work, I'd be pleased if they subpoena me so I can put the facts on the parliamentary record. To all viewers, the Zionist lobby succeeded in forcing Heritage Canada to implement the Zionist created and weaponized IHRA definition of anti-Jewish hate, one that includes criticism of Israel. Heritage Canada will now require organizations it funds, including indigenous organizations, as well as media, cultural, and arts initiatives to subscribe to a supremacist political ideology and swear allegiance to a foreign apartheid colony before they can receive any funding. These loyalty oaths were previously implemented in, in the United States of America and have lost at every court challenge. The Zionists know these loyalty oaths are a lost cause legally, but they will not be deterred without us fighting back. And for that reason, I ask viewers to support unfiltered, uncensored voices in Canada and take a stance against Zionist silencing and defamation campaigns by donating to our legal defense fund. Your donations will fund the fight against the implementation of the IHRA at Heritage Canada or any other government agency or branch that impacts racialized and indigenous media. You can find links to donate and more information about this campaign on my website, laithmaruf.com. Please donate generously and let us make sure this is the last time Zionists can use the media to defame supporters of Palestinian liberation. From Turtle Island to Palestine, colonialism is a crime. Salam, Niawa, Goa.